friends, welcome back to another build challenge in The Sims 4. Today we're gonna be building a house where every room represents a different year of The Sims 4. Every year starting at like 2015, The Sims 4 puts out different packs, game packs, expansion packs, stuff packs, rip. And I thought it would be a fun idea to break it down, go room by room, and only use the packs that were released within the specific year for that room. First thing we're gonna do is build the exterior. I'm actually intrigued about this challenge first to see how it's going to look with all these packs and the differences between each room, but I'm also intrigued to see the evolution of the packs that we did have. We're gonna see varying degrees of quality and things like that, so I think it's gonna be a cool thing to see. So I've got my shell, I'll figure out we're gonna do the year 20. 2015 for the exterior. So in that year, we have a get to work, get together, outdoor retreat, spa day, spooky stuff, cool kitchen, perfect patio, and luxury stuff. And you're going to notice that as the years go on, the packs that were released get smaller. But regardless, we are also going to be including base game in here. So let's go ahead and get our pack filters on. Base game came out earlier, but we're just gonna include it for this exterior anyway. Okay, we have our pack filters on. Let's go ahead and get the wallpaper for the exterior. So first I think I want to go with like a brick kind of. I'm building in Windenburg because I knew that the world from Get Together was going to be the first one to go. I think I'm going to put some siding on here. I want to go like a little bit darker. I don't really use like a dark brown or like dark colors in my exterior all that often, but I kind of feel like doing that today. So I'm doing base game siding in two different colors along the top and along the bottom. So maybe like that is a good start. Now we can roof it. Let's go ahead and get our roof pieces. We're going to be using, I think, gabled roof pieces for a lot of this. I actually don't think we're gonna have too much struggle with the exterior so I think I'm gonna try and like hurry this part along just a little bit because this is the last time that I'm gonna allow myself to use base game which means when we go inside we're really gonna have to plan out like which packs have toilets for bathrooms for example. But having base game for the exterior and we actually honestly have some pretty good packs that we're using with this like get together has so much stuff for the exterior same as get to work is like decent so I don't feel too intimidated right now. Not not yet. We're gonna raise this up on a foundation, which is perfect. I love that one from Get Together. I'm gonna do some roof trim on my roof. Okay, first thing, I love this here from Base Game. I'm gonna use that in the front. I like how that looks. And I know that Get to Work has like a smaller version of that window that I like a lot. This one I really like, so I think I'm gonna put that right there. I think I need some longer windows maybe, so I think I'm gonna put those like right in there. I can bring them up top, I think, as well. And maybe one more over on the side. And that looks pretty cute for the front. And then in the back, I'm gonna do something similar, but I I think I'm gonna use this area here to make a patio. I'm gonna go ahead and make my patio, my front patio to get our front door. My keyboard, I haven't mentioned it to you guys at all, but it has been driving me insane. I thought it was gonna be really cool and I got this keyboard, hold on. This one, it's like pink and pretty, but like, listen up kids, do not get the aesthetically pleasing stuff. Get the quality, get the good quality, because this, ain't it. It's driving me crazy. Anyway, I need a front door. Sometimes I feel like the front door is like overwhelming. It's like you need to make a statement with it. You know, everyone's looking at it. Okay, now we've got everything on there. We can go and do the details. I'm gonna use this stone here from Get Together. I like how that looks. And I'm gonna just build out some sort of like walkway there. Maybe I can get a little like creative with it, make a patio here or something. I'm gonna fence in my backyard, maybe just starting like here. Not that I feel like I really need it here, but it looks a little odd to to me without it. Let's do chimney up there from get together. Maybe we can get some window boxes or something. Yeah, landscaping and stuff. I don't think I'm gonna have that hard of a time. I even have outdoor retreat. Oh yeah, we're gonna be good. There's so many trees around, so we're gonna be putting trees basically all over this lot. And then over here, I love using this archway. Let's do that right here so that you can kind of like go in and out maybe. It would be cool if we had cottage living because I could kind of see like some cows being back here or like chicken coops. The back, I do want to make some sort of nice patio back here because we we have perfect patio stuff, so may as well use it and take advantage. So I'm building out my deck and using the different flooring here, like I'm using the different stone and like gravel over there. I'm trying to just carve out different areas in my yard. I've been trying to get better at this. Like I used to find backyards intimidating because there's just so much room and like things that you can do with it. But if you carve out like little areas of like seating areas or play areas for kids or something like that, then it makes it almost like furnishing the interior of a house in terms of like furnishing rooms. 
lungs, if that makes sense. Let me show you. Let me just get my packs back on for the billionth time already. So I definitely want to do a seating area, but this with this stone could be like, we have a barbecue. I can maybe build a wraparound kitchen going around with the perfect patio counters. It's funny because perfect patio, I feel was like a really good kit for its time, but now it would definitely be a kit. Like they would 100% put perfect patio for sale as a kit. Like this right here being show all perfect patio kit material. <laughs> Actually, since I have all this room back here, I think I'm gonna do a dining table down the middle. So we'll do like a big dining table. I'm gonna have to do multiple bedrooms in this house and there's like kids stuff included. So we'll probably have kids in this build. Outdoor retreat has some fun games we can include. They've got like the fire pit we could add somewhere. I'm basically just gonna be adding all of these elements and like rearranging them in a way that I think is gonna look good. So the exterior here is complete. In my head, I'm thinking this is what a house would look like if we built it in like 2015, where we were limited to only those packs. So I actually really like how this turned out. I love the shape of it. In the back, this is what our backyard is looking like. We of course have our perfect patio area with our barbecue and our cooler from outdoor retreat, our dining area. And I made a garden area back here with that like different kind of gravel that I had. I think I have to move these plants out of the way a little bit. Over here, I added some outdoor retreat stuff. We have our game and we have our fire pit. So this is our backyard. I think it's cool. It's already interesting to see what we can pull off with only the packs that we've got here. So let's go inside. So I'm thinking we're gonna walk in. We're gonna have the living area. We're gonna have a bathroom in the back. This might be an office or a kid's play area, depending on how we furnish this thing. And then over here, we're gonna do big kitchen and dining. Upstairs, we're gonna have one bathroom in the back here and then two bedrooms to the side. So maybe like a kid's bedroom and a parent bedroom. And that's how we're gonna have to do it. Okay, let's move on to the next year, which is gonna be 2016. So for 2016, we've got city living, dine out, vintage glamour, backyard stuff, kids room stuff, romantic garden, and movie hangout. Let's go upstairs and actually we're gonna start with our kids room over here. So we're gonna get some flooring. I love to use this one here from city living. It's colorful. We have tons of swatches to use. Interesting choice of wallpaper that we have here though. <laughs> 2016 was the year of the stuff packs. This is a lot. Ooh, I like the orange with that. Maybe we could do like a blue and orange. This is totally gonna encourage us to use some different packs here too. Like even this, I never use this from backyard stuff. We use this dresser here from the kids room stuff pack. I actually really like that dresser. My favorite vintage glamour mirrors. Oh, and we have all these posters. Oh, this is a good call for the kids room. I hope it doesn't bite us later on, but I think this is gonna be good. We can have a desk over here, maybe with like an orange chair if I can find it. Oh yeah, let's go with the movie hangout one. Okay, now we need like a computer maybe, or I could just leave this for homework. And we definitely need some toys. Oh, we have the toy box, perfect. I'm gonna use an orange one, maybe at like the end of the bed here. We get some bubbles. Okay, this is weird, but did you guys ever do this as kids? I would literally like line all my teddy bears up and do like a dance show or something for them. Like so lame and weird that I'm admitting this, but I would like line up all the teddy bears like over here and they would just watch the show. Like I would do like dance. I took dance classes. So like, is that weird? Probably, but whatever. So they're all lined up. Maybe, maybe they like to sing. Maybe our Sim likes to sing for them. And for curtains, I think I could pull it together with just some like vintage glamour ones. I feel like there's a lot of lighting coming in that window as well. This is a cute kid's room. Okay, let's move on to the next year. The next year is 2017 and we get cats and dogs, vampires, parenthood, toddler stuff, fitness stuff, and bowling night. By the way, if any of these are incorrect, blame Wikipedia, okay? I did my best. All right, cats and dogs is really the one that I'm looking at and parenthood. Those two kind of go together pretty well. Toddler stuff, fitness stuff, and bowling stuff though could not be more all over the place aesthetically. So let's go back downstairs. I think this might be maybe a good option for my kitchen because we've got the parenthood stuff. We've got the counters. Let's try it. I can also get some archways from cats and dogs here, I think. Dang it. Uh-oh. Okay, maybe we can do instead, we'll use these and build like some spandrels over top instead of an archway. Like I can use these cats and dogs ones to like go like this. What do we have for flooring? Cause this flooring is gonna go throughout the entire thing, I guess. Maybe we use that from cats and dogs, just kind of like spread all over for now. And then for my wallpaper, I think I'm gonna try and see what I have to work with first. So we're gonna do kitchen and dining in this whole area. I kind of want to build like a wall in between here. Like I think I'm gonna do 
a wall and wrap my counters around it. I've seen people do this and it looks really cool. And because my kitchen space is so large, it's gonna maybe make it look more cozy and kind of the vibe that I'm going for here. So let's see. We're gonna wrap them this way. I'm gonna use like the outer corner pieces to do it just like this. And we can always move it over too if I think it would be better maybe like pushed back because we're kind of close to my fridge, but I can always move the fridge like over here. And this could have like an end table on it. Yes, okay, we have the cats and dogs thing. This is gonna turn out. I could actually even bring in fitness stuff here, I think. Okay, now I think we can commit to the freaking wallpaper. I might just keep it simple. Parenthood, black and white. And I do wanna get these counters sorted too. So I'm gonna do the same thing going around. This might end up looking a little bit too big. So maybe we can do counters only on some sides and then shelving units on the other. I don't know, I haven't really done this. So we're kind of testing this out together. We can change them up, do like a big one here. I could change this one here and do like a smaller one. Cats and dogs, we also have like this, like big stuff, but I still need an area for my dining table. And I think I'm gonna be changing some of this into an island instead. Maybe we can use a cats and dogs chair there. Our oven is gonna have to be over here along with our sink. Uh, the fact that all of this is different is gonna drive me crazy because I thought that these would match with like the other parenthood counters, but they don't. So maybe instead I'll move my oven like over here and it'll be less obvious that this is an entirely different <laughs> sink. That's what we're gonna have to do. <laughs> okay, now we can clutter. My kitchen is looking a little bit crazy. We can use cats and dogs over in this corner and my dining table maybe could be like right here. Yeah, cats and dogs in parenthood honestly look very similar to me. Like the more that we're doing this, this looks like a very cohesive pack. The only problem is my plant game is not good. <laughs> I have these though. We're gonna use these. I do feel inclined to put a dog. I'm doing it. We're gonna do under the table here. Maybe I could like squeeze in the bowls and I need to make sure I have everything for the dog in this room because there's gonna be no more cats and dogs. So maybe I can put a toy thing underneath this over here and a bed just like in the corner there. And for peace of mind for us, we're gonna say that the dog sleeps upstairs in the owner's bed and not over here in this corner. <laughs> All right, so here is our kitchen and dining. The year is 2017. I don't have a garbage in here because we didn't have a garbage or a smoke detector. So we're gonna have to hope for the best that I can put a garbage like right here with the next pack. But this is what it turned out like I think it looks really cute more like traditional like kind of family home style which is what we're going for anyway and I like it next up we have 2018 and this one also is interesting we've got seasons get famous a jungle adventure my first pet stuff and laundry day I wish I was part of the sims community like on twitter and stuff and youtube when my first pet stuff came out because I really wonder how that went over if you're not aware my first pet stuff was kind of a country controversial pack in 2018, I guess. Just because it came with like questionable items. A lot of people said that it could have been combined with cats and dogs. You'll also notice that as we go, we're gonna have less and less options. So, okay, 2018, let's see what we can do here. I really do wanna make sure that whatever we end up doing, I have enough for my bathroom. Seasons has good bathroom stuff. They also have good bedroom stuff, but I think I could probably hold off and make sure we get a bathroom out of the way. So let's do a bathroom for back here. We'll be able to use like the marble flooring from Get Famous. I think it might be kind of hard to make like a traditional looking bathroom with this stuff. We could do a blue bathroom. The blue seems to be a theme. We'll get our toilet from Seasons, our sink. And then on the other side, we could do our bathtub. We're definitely gonna need curtains in this bathroom. We can use these towels here. Yeah, the blue and the dark gray is kind of nice. I don't have toilet paper, but I'm gonna put that paper towel roll from laundry day. And maybe we could add like a little basket from seasons in the corner here. Actually, my first pet stuff has great blinds. I will defend that. I really do like the blinds here. Okay, so our bathroom is complete. I mean, it's cute. It worked out. I'm glad we were able to do it. I was a little worried. We are gonna move on to the next year, 2019. We've got Island Living. Discover University, Strangerville, Mosquito, and Realm of Magic. Was there really only one stuff pack this whole year? Two expansion packs, Realm of Magic, and Strangerville. That was a pretty good year. But it kind of brought a weird assortment of things I am now realizing. <laughs> I think this might be best for like a bedroom possibly. Let me see my beds. I mean, I could get away with using this. Yeah, let's try and do the bedroom upstairs. We are furnishing this house all over the place. I do apologize, but let's go ahead and grab this here 
Jennifer from Discover University. I do feel like this might end up being a very heavy Discover University bedroom. <laughs> Maybe this combination could be interesting. I'm trying to find a good like wallpaper and flooring combo that matches. Like we could do island living wood. That looks kind of cute. I think it's my wallpaper options throwing me off. I've tried like a bunch of different options here. I'm not really getting anything. I mean, we could do like a black and white. That looks better than what we had, I think. This bedroom is gonna look a lot fancier, I think, than the rest of the house. Like I'm putting this realm of magic thing in the corner and that made it look a little bit more like extra. Same as this, like we're combining a Moschino, like a high fashion stuff pack with like realm of magic. It's just, you know, it's a little weird. I can put a couch over here. I can probably get a dresser. I do like those chairs there from Discovery University. This acts as a dresser and I could add like some clutter in there, I think. We can shrink down that realm of magic rug, put it in the corner. Yeah, I don't know why I thought I would like this one a little bit better, but I mean, this is our bedroom. Maybe it's because it's more of like a minimal style and that's totally not my thing. Let's move on. We only have a couple more rooms left. I have a bathroom back here that I have to do. Actually, we have three. We have the office down here and we've got this living room. So moving on to the next year, what do we got? We have 2020, which brought eco lifestyle, snowy escape, dirty to bad two, nifty knitting, and tiny living. I think I can totally get away with doing the living room with this. And then the office could probably be here. But let's see how that goes. Okay, so this is gonna be our living room. This is big. Oh yeah, we'll be able to do this. Absolutely no problem here. So let's get some wallpaper first. Do I wanna do like a dark gray? This is a very dark build. I think we're gonna split this into a few different seating areas. I wanna do a fireplace right here. This is snowy escape. Oh, the TV we have is for tiny living. Okay, maybe we could do like another TV area over there. Like that could be more of the kids area. And I mean, eco lifestyle does have a little bit of blue like in there. So that might work. What's their plan game like? Okay, plans are getting better. I don't have like an actual TV to mount here. So I do need a picture. I guess we could put up some like tiny living pictures maybe. And Journey to Batu has some like big plants that we can use. They actually have a lot of good clutter too. So maybe we could put that over here. Oh, I needed a trash can. Let's see if we've got one. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, so trash can. This is gonna be kind of connecting to the kitchen, but it's just gonna go there. Eco Lifestyle also has like this thing, bringing in the, the cozy vibe. And we can just do a table along the back here with like a plant on it or something. Oh, we have the dollhouse from Eco Lifestyle. We can put that in the corner over here. I'm not gonna size it down because I need to take up room. We have our curtains here too from Eco Lifestyle, which actually match what we've been doing. So that's kind of nice. Oh, and we have a crafting table. This can totally be an area for kids. You can craft while watching the only TV in the house. I think I'm actually gonna separate this area off with a half wall just so it's not so like weird. This is a very open room. So I figured we might have to do something like that anyway. I'm trying to see if this aesthetic like matches the kitchen. I mean, the color scheme is all good. This is what our living room ended up looking like. A lot of eco lifestyle with snowy escape. And then over here, we've got our play area for the kids crafting table. The kid stuff was kind of lacking a little bit, but with these two big items over here, I feel like you can't really tell. And I just changed the wall color over there slightly. So there's like a little bit of more interesting stuff going on in here. And I think I'm also going to add some eco lifestyle lighting just because I don't know, the ceiling lights bring together a room in The Sims 4. I don't know what it is. Next up in 2021, we've got cottage living, dream home decorator, and paranormal. And I think this is when we started getting The Sims 4 kits as well, because three packs in the entire year is kind of ridiculous. And The Sims 4 paranormal stuff pack was the last stuff pack that we got. I don't know if I want to include the kits in this challenge though, because there's so many of them. <laughs> I think I might have messed up because I don't have any toilets under this category. And I know that I'm not going to have one for the next category either. And I still have a bathroom upstairs. I have this room over here, which can maybe be something. And this room up here, the hallway, I'm just going to do whatever like at the end. But okay, I think I might have to do like a shower room, no toilet, but like you just go in here to kind of like get ready. It's not really the way that I want to do it, but I feel like it's going to be our only option. So let's get our bathtub in here. Also, I just realized this, this literally goes out to the balcony. Why? You know what we could do? We could do an outdoor bathtub moment. Hear me out. I think we can make this look really cool. Weird, yes, but it's The Sims and we're desperate. Okay, so I'm going to try and make a barrier, like hiding this bathtub on the deck. <laughs> we're going to use all of these plants, every option possible we've got. <laughs> this is totally like a last minute save idea, by the way. Wouldn't normally do this in a house build, but you got to do what you got to do, right? So you got a bathtub out here. And then in this room, we could make like a walk-in closet instead of just putting a bathtub in this room and like calling it a day, you know? <laughs> this is so funny. This does not make sense, but it's going to be cute. So it could even kind of be like storage, like all these baskets in here 
here. I don't know, you could go out to your bathtub, come in and get dressed in an ideal world. I wonder if your sims would get the embarrassed moodlet from like going out there. That'd be kind of funny to test. Like I wonder if someone was eating dinner like out over here, if like they would see them on the bathtub. Like are sims that smart? I don't know. But anyway, here is our... <laughs> This is so stupid. Our walk-in closet with all our clutter. I mean, it does look cute. I do like it. We're gonna move on to our final room next, which is gonna be at 2022. Okay, so 2022, we have my wedding stories and a bunch of kids so far. It's April, which means this down here is gonna be, I don't know what this is gonna be. We do have some barrels. We could do like a wine cellar of some kind. I actually love the look of the barrels for my wedding stories. I feel like that looks really cute. <laughs> this was gonna be a kid's room. Then it was gonna be an office. I'm trying to Google like see when these kits came out. We ha have we even got one in 2022? I know we got decor to the max in March so I guess that's gonna be our only other option. <laughs> so I guess in here I mean that kind of matches our aesthetic. I could put an end table in here. We've got our plant in the corner. I mean all things aside the room does look cute. What is it? I have no idea. Maybe our sim that lives here is a wedding planner and this is their like wedding supply room. That's the only thing I can possibly come up with for this room. If anything, I mean, I guess it does show what 22 has been like, right? <laughs> I mean, this is what we got and I'm just working with it. All right, this is what I attempted to do in my weird like wedding storage room. This is our 2022 room for The Sims 4. <laughs> if you were curious, this is what I did upstairs for our hallway. And this has been our every room is a different year of The Sims 4 franchise. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe as well. This will be on the gallery under City Macarena if you want to download it. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.